So in our lab, the common experiments we perform are to take the DNA from the organisms we study, like cholera, make changes to them, reintroduce them back into the organism, and then see how that's affected the interesting behaviors we study. Vibrio cholera is the causative agent of the severe diarrheal disease cholera. This organism has a dual lifestyle, which is what I find particularly fascinating. So we think of it as the organism that causes this horrible disease. This organism, though, exists out in marine environments as a natural inhabitant of um, coastal waters and estuaries. And it has the ability, like all living things, to sense and respond to its environment. So it has to be able to sense cues and signals that tell it where it is and what it needs to do. So quorum sensing is a process of bacterial cell-to-cell -cell communication that allow the bacteria to orchestrate group behavior. So they do this by secreting small chemical signals, and when the concentration of that chemical signal is high enough, because the bacteria find themselves in a group, they can respond to that signal. It binds to receptors on their membrane and triggers a whole cascade of events that allow the whole bacterial population to synchronously turn on genes. So it uses quorum sensing um, to count itself in your small intestine when it reaches high numbers in the small intestine, quorum sensing, the group, now is triggered to release from the intestine. So quorum sensing signals it's time to leave this host and find a new one. One of the studies we're doing now in my lab is to get environmental isolates of cholera that were collected from different locations around the world. And we're studying how their DNA is different and then the consequence of those changes on the ability of those different strains to maybe cause uh, severe disease or less severe disease or to do better out in the environment but not in a human host. So genetics is a, a venue for exploring the organism and how it interacts with the rest of the world.